Chaos at the Bristol County House of Corrections after an attempt to move inmates to another housing unit turned into an hours long standoff. The sheriff says the inmates barricaded themselves and destroyed the units, causing an estimated $100,000 to $200,000 worth of damage. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now from Dartmouth with the very latest. Amanda? Well, Kim Shannon, those inmates made a list of demands and officers spent much of the day trying to negotiate with them. Now that all is said and done here in Dartmouth, many of those inmates are in other county jails, but not before leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage behind. You know, things went sideways. A six hour standoff within the walls of the Bristol County House of Corrections Friday. In the process of trying to make our jail a little bit less suicide uh, problematic, problematic with suicides, the um, we had to move inmates around. They weren't happy about being moved to a new unit, says Sheriff Paul Hero. 75 inmates in one housing unit and 63 in another started to protest. 17 ringleaders uh, decided to stir the pot. Around 930 AM, they started destroying things. All the cameras on the ceilings have all been ripped off or covered up or you know smashed the central control windows are broken um, fans are broken some of the chaos caught on camera as fire extinguishers were sprayed out of windows these inmates hero says are awaiting trial some facing murder charges and they did have weapons K-9 teams, officers in riot gear, five different sheriff's offices, all part of the effort to reason with the inmates who made a list of demands. They want a better grievance process, something we can accommodate, better appeal process, we can accommodate that. Um, they want to speak to me. Hero responded with a letter. And they, as soon as they received the letter, they tore it up and threw it right back out the window. Officers breached the units around three and ushered inmates out. The ringleaders have been relocated to other jails. The rest moved within the facility. Hero says the issue lies with the lack of locks on cell doors and is calling on the state for help. So we're not asking for anything unreasonable. We're asking for money to put locks on doors for cell inmates. And that's, a, that's a safety issue for um, the inmates. It's a safety issue for the COs. Now, no one was injured here during this incident, but the sheriff says many of those inmates will be facing charges for what happened here today. Live in Dartmouth tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.